and African American men in between the ages of 15 and 24 is suicide. Mm -hmm. There's not one that you'll find a commercial about. You can consider that more like a, the elephant in the room, you know that thing nobody talks about, but it's there. The title of this piece is called Kill That Elephant. All right. I sat outside of my body staring. Still a faint feeling of my faint breathing while witnessing the screaming of people who didn't even know me. They didn't even know me. They never took the time to disconnect from their grind. They were always hustling for a prize while I was always just a little too far from their reach. Wish that I could get that out of my mind. But every day I was constantly reminded of how imperfect I was in light of everyone else around me. See, I was born to be different. But I was the only one who could see it. I'm convinced that if I could have only explained it perfectly, still no one else would have believed it. Perhaps my decision to leave was tainted with smoke screens of acting out and dressing weird or ditching class and smoking weed. They never asked me how I was really feeling. They always took my I'm um, good as a sign that I was good, but I was crying out like the goody mob on steroids, sending SOSs for the stress, but all they heard was noise. Static. I sent them all signals and they missed it, and now they all miss me. And so I sat outside of my body, this time screaming, somewhat of a bittersweet goodbye, mixed with greetings of meanings that I've never heard before in my life. Perhaps I did mean something to somebody. Perhaps this was just a recording. Another rerun, you've seen it play out before. As soon as I'm back in my body, their words will make me wish that I was gone, like the wind that I'm holding on to right now. I'm thinking, should I let go of this wind that I'm holding on to right now? No, I don't want to die. But I don't know how to live. I'm self-medicating with turnip and it's wrecking my flesh like the weak sons of Skiva. Lord, I'm trying to believe you. I need to believe you. I need you to tell me that my life is worth living that I have something worth giving, that I don't have to live life, constantly grieving to live life. This shallow breathing is fleeting, I'm resisting. I was resisting, no really. I was really resisting and that's when it happened. That's when the room lit up above my almost lifeless flesh. And out of nowhere, and yet out of everywhere, appeared this figure of a man. This figure of a god, drenched in blood. Eyes wet, tears saturated with love, and he looked at my almost unconscious self, and he didn't say a word. He just stared at me. He stared at me, and then his eyes lit this fire that worked its way from the bottom part of the smallest toe on my right side and left. Everything hurting me on the inside on fire, and it burned so good. It was as if this love melted away the gates of brass, and then he released my soul from the clutches of death, and as my lungs collapsed, and I almost seemed to brush up against hell, but on the third pump, I rose again as if I had never failed, as if I had never failed. Hey. See, I've never known such freedom existed. All of this freedom in the land of the living until I changed my decision. I decided that I would stay here until he comes back to get me, but I would stay only as a testimony of his glory. See, I could have been dead and gone, but he kept me. He sold a dead man life. I have the product, but I am also the receipt. I was bought with the price. You were bought with the price. It doesn't matter if no one else ever purchases it. See, Jesus paid the price because he knew that you were always worth it. So don't ever give up on life because you matter. Well, unless you start wrestling matches with thoughts that have already been defeated. Hey. Hey. See, he TK'd over death and his minions of powerless demons. Send his suggestions appearing to be screaming while paying off the guy in the corner with the bull on because he has no real voice. They're all lies. I'm telling you, you gotta stop listening to these lies. We need you. We need your life, your art, your gift, your talent, your love. We need your joy and your strength, your courage, your voice. We need you to kill that freaking elephant and live. The whole earth is sounding off for you to manifest you. So put the razor down. Put the pills down. Put the gun down. Listen, the whole earth is sounding off for you. I know you've heard it. It's sounding off for you to manifest you. We need you to kill that freaking elephant and live. I'm here to tell you that we need you to live. Oh. Oh.